In a previous lesson, we were building towers with Kiva planks, maybe building towers as tall as your students. Um, in that uh, exercise, we were not really looking that much at the, the design of the patterns that were going into the towers. We were just getting used to handling the blocks and, and maybe building big. Uh, this time we want to start thinking like an architect and thinking about patterns and ways to arrange the blocks that might make them uh, look more beautiful or more interesting. With an architect, they usually are working with bricks or glass or steel or concrete, and they can take these very simple things and maybe a pane of windows, and the way they start with a simple pattern and then repeat that over and over again on a skyscraper or a building, a very simple pattern can, can become very interesting and beautiful as you repeat that. Bricks can be used to make a very ordinary looking shed, but you can also make just beautiful buildings buildings out of bricks, and it's all based on the design and the thought process that goes into deciding what you want to build and how you're going to arrange the materials that you have. You can make the things look very ordinary, or you can make them look beautiful. We want to start looking, helping our students consider their environment around them and noticing maybe buildings and structures that, that we all walk past oftentimes without even giving it a second thought and start to consider what's around us and how they might be able to have an impact on the built environment around them. The architecture is unique in that it combines the physics, very technical requirements for building structurally sound buildings, but also combining the aesthetics of trying to make those look beautiful and interesting. So kind of taking the, the physics of engineering and combining art with that. So it's really a unique activity that is useful to help students develop creativity and, and intertwine those two aspects. One way you can start with this activity is to be looking at some pictures of skyscrapers. They usually have interesting patterns within the building with the way the, the materials are arranged, but also the overall form of the building. So just maybe with some books that you have or going online and, and looking at photos of skyscrapers, just to start to spark the imagination of what is out there and, and how this activity of building uh, something with chemo planks is linked to, to real life. So the challenge with this would be to build a tower or any structure they want with, with some repeating pattern. And the goal is to just to make something that is interesting or attractive. Give them a particular amount of time, whether it's five minutes or 20 minutes. Some of that will depend on how many planks you have or how much time you have in the classroom to devote to this sort of activity. And when the time is up, uh, invite everyone to walk around the room and observe what other people have built. Not only does walking around the room help wake up their brain and keep them active, but it's really important that they see the other patterns that are there and start to assimilate other ways that the planks can be arranged that they may not have thought of, and that will uh, expand their ability to, to maybe take some of those patterns and put them into a different form and your classroom will quickly improve in the way that they build. It's very helpful to ask students to describe what they built, uh, talk about the pattern. How did the pattern evolve? Maybe they started one way and it shifted to another or they built a certain height and then they decided to, to change the pattern in a different way. That verbal processing of taking the active visual experience that they just had in building the tower and translating that into verbal con communication, their thought process, verbally describing a visual um, experience. Those are very important things uh, to do and uh, it's quick and easy. Uh, most students kind of want to talk about what they what they just built. So doing this sort of communication in a non-threatening, simple, short way uh, is a way to get students building that ability, that skill to be able to verbalize their thought processes. This lesson uh, encourages students to notice the built environment around them. As I said before, oftentimes we all we walk by these buildings and things around us and we just take them for granted. And by slowing down, it helps us 
appreciate the beauty that's around us, the thought that went into that, and also the fact that we can influence the environment around us. Another one to think about is the innovation that's taken place as students are building these towers with different patterns. Even if the pattern has been done by other people, maybe in the classroom or uh, other places in the world where people have been building with Kiva planks, if a student is looking at Kiva planks for the first time and they think of of a new way in their mind to arrange the blocks, they're having original creative thoughts, regardless of whether anyone else has done that before. Imagining something that doesn't exist now, at the beginning, but it comes to their mind and then they make it happen. Those are all really important things for people to experience and especially for children to experience that they can think of things and make them happen. Doing it with Kiva Planks where it's quick and easy and unthreatening uh, really builds that confidence. We're also going to be learning things like balance and symmetry. Uh, they'll be counting blocks. They'll be using uh, fine motor skills with the dexterity. They'll be moving around it. So they're using gross motor skills as their legs move them around the structure. Uh, they're using dimensional thinking. They're thinking scale as, as they start to imagine that this could be a skyscraper, even though it's just two feet high in their mind, they're starting to think the scale of, of what would a road look like next to this skyscraper. The proportions that are there, the shape, the form of structures, all of these things are being contemplated as students build. So I hope you have fun with this. It's always good to take pictures when you're done so that you can document what has happened. You can see the progress. They can see the progress. Uh, they can remember uh, a pattern that they developed today that they really like, that they want to remember, and maybe incorporate that into some, uh, some other structure in the future. There's a lot more we're going to be able to do with architecture. This is just uh, uh, getting things started with a very simple activity. So I hope you have a great, uh, great day and a great lesson, and we'll see you next time.